welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green, where I get to play a psychic medium. <laughs> I'm kidding. I am one. <laughs> okay, so I'm a psychic, a medium, a channel, an author, TV show and podcast host, and there's other things that I just can't think of right now. So we're just going to let those things go. But here we go. Here we grow. Let's get the show on the road. I'm so excited to be here today with you. Thank you for joining me. Whether you're watching live on YouTube, which I go live on YouTube every Monday and Wednesday at noon. If you would like to see a weekend show, please let me know when you would like to see that show. Saturday or Sunday afternoon, not mornings, folks afternoon or evening on the weekend. Um, and also, uh, if you're listening on a podcast or if you are um, watching or, uh, yeah, on TV, uh, Roku, um, Rude Rangers TV, WSCS, any of the channels that I am streamed on, thank you so much for joining me. If you do, if you are listening and or watching live or want to join the show, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. You can call in and ask any question about life, love, career, finances. I do not answer cheating questions. Is my man cheating on me? Hire a private investigator. Put one of those little, you know what, if you think your dude is diddling another chick, if you think he's like doing the humpty hump with another bumpty bump, I entertain myself so much. You know what you can do? Here's what you can do. Get one of those little bitty GPS things, stick it someplace in his car, figure it out from there. Or... There's a number of different ways. I'm just saying there are a number of different ways to find out if he is or not. You don't need a psychic for that. Get the evidence yourself. Um, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Um, a couple little things before we get started. Oh, wait. If you would like to join the show live, again, if you want to uh, ask a question, please have a direct, exact question ready. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, I just need their name and their relationship to you and any, any question or conversation you would have wanted to have with them. And for the love of sweet baby Jesus, oh my God, Marjorie is back. Who is Marjorie? Who is Marjorie? I hear grandma. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> that can't be. You guys, I I didn't really know my grandmas, <laughs> but for some reason I'm thinking my grandma's name might have been Marjorie. <laughs> I'm sure this is not my grandma. I didn't even know her, whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have to figure out how I can find out if this is my, if maybe that's why she's here with every show. I have no idea. Um, okay. But if you would like to call in and join in, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes, most of the time 60. And I answer your questions and help you connect with loved ones on the other side. Okay, doke. Okay, um, I do want to say hi to everybody joining me live on YouTube. Genevieve Vaughn, Caroline Patrick, Steve. Hey, everybody. Thank you for being here. If you are on YouTube and you want to leave a comment in the, the chat, please do so. Hey, John, how are you? Um <clears throat> And if you do want to call in with a question, a connection, or a clearing request, by the way, put some more clearings on TikTok this morning, um, please, by all means, uh, call in. And the number, again, is 845-277-9131. I'm going to go directly to the callers. And, oh, wait. Hi, Stevie. Love you. Love you, little dude. Um, 
And there's there's one couple little uh, announcements over the next from what the source is. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that, clearing my throat, plus YouTube just disconnected me. I think keywords will get you shut down for a few seconds. Um, please fact check everything you hear, whether you hear it from what's considered a reliable source or wherever you hear it from, please fact check. One thing I am hearing about the November voting process is it's, you know how they used to say it's not who votes, it's who counts the votes? I keep hearing, and I hope this is not true. I hope this is not true, folks. It's not who votes. It's not who counts the votes. It's who announces the winners. So if they just say it, yeah. So please pay attention for that. Um, again, please, if you can take the day off of work and work the voting, um, places, the places where people go vote to keep it, you know, there's a lot of people that want to keep an eye, what, no matter what party you're from, they want to keep an eye, they want to make sure everything is legit, they want to make sure everybody's vote is getting counted as it should, and there's no, there's no hairy canary business going on, um, please take the day off of work and go um, work at the voting, the poll polling places. Um, <clears throat> and one last time, I'm going to, okay, honestly, it's not the last time. Fingerprint voting. It's it's like a no-brainer. Your, your thing scans in, your fingerprint is, is validated. If another person with your same fingerprint comes through, gets kicked out. I mean, come on. It seems so simple. Okay. Ah, uh, I think that's everything. I think that's, yep. Oh, no, there's one more thing. Okay, so in my show on Monday, I had mentioned how I believe I had heard that Congress had made themselves exempt from IRS um, audits. So on, on our voting um, ballots, we can write things in. There are two things we should collectively write in since we the people are in charge of the votes we should write in uh reverse that exemption reverse uh congress being exempt or we all have to identify as congress people if we get audited by the eighty-seven thousand new irs employees congratulations to all y'all who just got a job with the irs um yes and second, we should also write in, uh, 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 just hearing, uh, and you can fact check this, that 1.2 billion, <laughs> I believe it's billion, I don't think it's million, is being sent to Ukraine again. <laughs> what does that bring our total to? And what could we Americans do with that money? Just saying, maybe if we weren't sending all that money there, we wouldn't need 87,000 new IRS workers. By the way, can we send them there to get that money back for us? So on your ballot also were right, no more money for wars. I don't know, we have to try something, right? I'm just saying, we have to try something. Okie dokie on that happy note. Let's get this party started. Here we go. 256. 256. What's your name and where are you calling from? This is Kimberly from Georgia. Hey, Kimberly. How can I help you today? Yeah. Um, I have been looking for a new job for about three months and I've had interviews, but they're not going the way I thought they were going to go. And yesterday, I think I you know, did 13 hours of crying oh. and um, just want to know what I, what I need to do next. Because, I mean, I've interviewed and they were supposed to get back to me. They didn't get back to me and just things like that. Yeah. OK, so a couple things are coming through. And first of all, I'm I'm so, so sorry for what you're going through. I'm hearing from everybody. It's like one job, 100 people out there. Um it, what I'm going to say to you is um, 
whatever platform you're using to find employment, also go to uh, company sites, company like, you know, Apple and da, 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 and look at their, go to their actual web pages, their websites, and go down to the career section and then see what they're offering and apply directly through the company. Um, there are a, a tremendous number of employers that if you apply through the company rather than a, a third party, they look at those applications first. Plus you can, you can see right on the site what they're really looking for. Sometimes that's a better fit. Um, the next thing I'm hearing is there's this song and I actually really kind of like this song. It says, get your freak on, get your freak on. But they're saying, get your hustle on, get your hustle on. So it's the beat of that song with these words. And what they're really saying to you is there is a side thing or something you could do on your own that would really uh, get you <clears throat> get you um, uh, going faster or better. If if that's I know that's not the right way to say that, um, but I'm hearing two different things, and uh, the things that I'm hearing, and I know it's going to sound crazy, but just crazy. Um, just, you know, keep an open heart and an open ear, kind of think about it. If you're not in a position to start either, either of these right now, you may be soon. So just keep, keep an open mind as they're saying this to you, the first thing. And I know that when I say some of this stuff, I know I make it sound, I might make it sound like it's really easy. And I do understand that there is some training that goes with this and there might be a bit of a minimal amount of expense involved in some of these things that um, they say, but it, it is what it is. If they're, if they're bringing it up to you, um, please uh, know if they're saying this, if they're giving you the destination, they will create the path and open that pathway for you. So <clears throat> one of the things I'm hearing from you, for you, not from you, but for you, and actually I'm hearing it very loudly. And when I say this, please keep in mind, there are many different aspects to, to everything I say. So if I say real estate and or commercial, commercial, commercial real estate, if they're not specifically talking about commercial real estate, they might be talking about becoming a mortgage or a loan person for mortgage for um, uh, for commercial real estate. They might be talking about just working in a commercial real estate office office with your skills and and whatever it is that you do. But what I'm really hearing for you is uh, one of one of the things I'm hearing for you is real estate and commercial real estate. And I'm going to tell you in. Um, the, I hope everybody laughs at this because this is like one of the craziest things ever. After my last near-death accident and I had started doing this work and I felt like I needed to get a job and I was doing okay. Like my, my business was doing very well and I just felt like, well, maybe I don't know, yada, yada. Um, and so I applied and applied and applied and applied and applied and applied and applied. And I went, you know, I was looking everywhere for, and nobody was, was responding to, except for one, one company did. And you guys, I can't even make this poop up. It was a cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. It was a cemetery. So when people come in and they want to get their cemetery plots or their, you know, to bury their loved ones. And so going through the interview process and, you know, getting, getting hired at the cemetery, I went home and I thought, if you're going to talk to dead people, just do your job. Just do the job you're already doing if you're going to work with dead people. <laughs> So um, the point of that whole story is, and I'm not even joking, that is a, a really an absolutely true 100% story. Um, so then I just kept doing what I'm doing and 
gratefully and happily so. Um, what I'm going to say to you is um, that sometimes we're not meant to have that specific J-O-B. We're meant to be in our own um, destiny, in our own um Thing. And what I'm hearing for you is if you would go towards your own thing, you would find peace and you would find um, power and you would find control. Now, I know I talk a lot about also having a side business as a beauty business. And there are some beauty businesses that are very easy to like start, start up, like doing lashes is really um, a lot of people who are inclined to do that can do that. But what I, I whether it's, I, let me just hone this in, whether it's um, something dealing with real estate, whether that be buying and um, getting commercial properties or selling them. And believe me, there are a tremendous number of grants and loans, no matter what um state or city you live in there are a tremendous number of grants and loans especially for women and um i think it's called annie may fanny may fanny may maybe it's fanny may whatever it is um freddie freddie may Freddie Mac. there are a tremendous amount of grants and loans and government help in starting um purchasing uh this uh, property, especially for women and um, especially for certain um, groups. And if you don't do that, maybe they're talking about doing mortgages or loans and or uh, real estate. Now, I'm not the boss of you. All I can do is give you the message that I am um, getting and a Patrick, who is extremely intelligent and knowledgeable about these things, is saying yes, that especially for first time buyers, you can um, do that. And I was listening to a little video that said, if you buy a four unit, you sometimes don't. Now, sometimes with a four unit, because it's considered a rental property, you have to bring more down. However, if you're doing it in a certain way, you don't have to bring anything down because the one of the, the units are going to pay for themselves or something like that. Of course, I said that so eloquently and gave so much information with that. But what I'm basically getting for you, let me just hone it back in again. What I'm basically getting for you is you are going to be in a space where you have the opportunity to move on your own, to, to take some solid steps forward on your own if you do so choose. Now, even mortgage or loan um, people, sometimes they're independent. They work for a company, but they're very independent. And sometimes they're actually employees. There's a reason they're going into such detail with this message. And I really hope that you... Think about this because I think there's something in this message for you, love. Okay. Whew. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> the first thing I wanted to say was, I hope she doesn't say real estate. I hope she doesn't say real estate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's it's been brought up before. And, and I thought, you know, I was like, I really don't have a, I mean, I, I know I'm in my element when I'm selling stuff and that's not even my background, but I've recruited and I've marketed before and I really like talking to people and, you know, making the sale, but I've never really thought about real estate. Um, even though I have degrees and other stuff, uh, I don't even know where to start. The only thing that I could ask is, you know, just an opportunity presents itself. Because that is so, it's like left field for me. Well, I, I and again, I'm going to say, it, not only are they saying real estate, but they're saying commercial real estate. Now, you can do residential and commercial. And I feel like um, they're saying, if you're going to sell something, 
go big or go home or go big and help people get their home. I don't know. Um, I feel like if you're interested, I would look online. There are some real estate courses. There are some real estate programs. You can talk to a realtor, um, talk to somebody who's doing well, not somebody who's lazy. Um, you could stop in at a realtor office in your area and talk with somebody there and just see basically what it's about and how it feels to you. Again, um, if this is the second time you're hearing this, I mean, I would really pay attention. Somebody upstairs is really talking about destiny, destined, destiny, destined. And again, you get to make the choice of what direction you want to go. But I, I feel like if you get a job in this time and point, it'll be okay and it will be good. Um, but I think you need to take the bull by the horns and start creating your own destiny is what they're saying up above. You need to be in that space where you are really investing in a future that you have power over is the statement that they're making. And mm -hmm. I, I hope that makes sense to you, love. Yeah, absolutely. 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 I mean, you are, are spot on. Why, thank you. Spot on. That's why they call me the psychic. I'm kidding. I'm so joking. <laughs> oh, I woke up with jokes this morning. <laughs> um, so, no, um, actually, I do think you should stop in and, and talk to somebody about commercial real estate and, you know, maybe uh, some just just look at what's out there for you and move diligently in that direction. I do feel like even if you just stop into a, an office, um, and here's what I would say also, um, you stop into an office of the area you want to sell in, not necessarily the area that you live in. Now, the area that you want to sell in, let's just say, is more um, is a little bit away from you or whatever you want to. If you're going to do commercial real estate, you want to stop into a commercial real estate or talk to somebody already in that. But if you want to sell properties, some people want to sell like in a certain suburb or a certain area. Stop into an office in that area just to see what that what's going on in that area at this time and what the feel for that is. And you can stop into more than one office and, and have a conversation with a couple of different people. But I'm telling you, this is going to be a really good, it good uh, fit for you. I don't, I think eventually I can tell, okay, so typically I wouldn't do this. I'm going to do this. If you go into real estate and you pursue it and you ride it hard and you stick with it and you're very, you know, don't go in lazy waiting for people. If you're very diligent and you ride it very, very hard, you have the potential of not only being like having this um, career in real estate, but finding some really good finds in real estate that you can also become uh, an investor. But then eventually, like, even if you stay in real estate, it doesn't mean you have to be a realtor the whole time. You can eventually become, what is that called when you start to um, have your own office um, and you have real estate agents under you um, that you work with? Um, and, and so, you know, you're a very driven person when given the opportunity and you like new opportunity, career opportunity that gives you all of these different legs that you can or roads that you can kind of go down and you can be like, OK, I'm, I'm now I'm going to start investing and now I'm going to, you know, get this license so that I can start my own uh company or firm or whatever it's called. And now I'm going to do this. And now I'm going to buy a commercial building, whatever it is, you'll not only be able to, yes, have the, the 
goodness of the sale and the high and the glory of the sale, but you'll also be able to have like multiple things going on at once, which is really what you need. And just, you know, there's a woman here who's just stepping in over my um, left, like coming in from the, the left over here. Um, and she is um, a little bit mid-size. Um, and she is very, she's, she's sassy. And I feel like if she's not your mother, she's definitely your grandma. And she is saying, um, she's saying, um, you just need to make a choice and we'll put it together. For, it's already put together. Just choose and move, choose and move, choose and move. And don't be stagnant don't be stagnant if okay how long ago did you hear the real estate thing how long ago did you hear that um maybe two to three years ago okay and do it, you and i mean it was in the same vein as you said whatever you sell make sure it's high end because you don't need to sell anything that's mid whatever right. you sell real estate they were like ferrari you need to sell is what i heard yes was, you know Okay, so now you you heard that before. If you would have started two to three years ago, where would you be today? Not looking for a job, crying for thirteen hours. Sorry, grandma. grandma. That that is not me. That is that is the, that is not me. Okay, but what I am hearing is um, that song. Get down on it if you really want it. Get down. I don't oh even God. know the words. Those are just the words I'm hearing. So they're saying um, if you really want to something something get down on the thing okay so but whoever knows that song i'm sorry for butchering it but what i'm what they're saying to you is it, it's time for you to take control and power over your future it's time for you to make your move to make your power move and you're charismatic and vivacious and imagine the people that you will meet doing this, especially with commercial real estate and a couple, I see you getting a couple high end properties, but the commercial real estate is the, the whole come. Okay. The whole real estate market is about to go flip dicky and, but the commercial real estate, um, there's like this whole, the way I'm seeing it is there's this whole group of people that are about to retire out of commercial real estate and new blood coming in, like the young uns are coming in to get it, get it. And so you want to be in a position where, yes, you can do the commercial real estate, uh, the, 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 the home, homes, homes, houses, homes, real estate, residential. That's what, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but you also have that commercial bit in your pocket because those commercial properties are really gonna, I just hear cha-ching, cha-ching, ain't no thing. So whatever that, cha-ching. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. uh, <laughs> yes. How, how, can I, how can I contact you to get a reading? Because I know I'm taking up time. So okay. how, how can I contact you to get a reading? How can I start uh, your schedule? Thank you so much. Thank you for being respectful like that. Um, T O N I G dot I N F O. The link is in the description, but T O N I G, Tony G dot I N F O info um, is how you can okay. go there. That's my website. You'll be able to um, take care of the financial end of it. And then it has my number, my business number that you can call. And I only schedule people over the phone. Um, I don't have a calendar on. Okay. Okay, love. I will be back on Monday at noon central for our 60 minutes. Again, please join me if you did not get through today. I'm so, so sorry. Until then, have an absolutely fabulous weekend. Thank you.